Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the Classicraft classified ad listing WordPress theme with which you can create a classified website. Now you can see it acts like a platform wherein the users can come in and submit their advertisements to showcase their services and business and in of it, they will be paying you for it. So what could be better than making a passive income like this, right? So it's just like you're buying a home, putting it for rent and the tenants are paying you to stay there. So in this video particularly, we are going to discuss how you can install the Classicraft theme on your WordPress and how you can bring in small small changes to your classified website with the theme option panel. So for that we'll come here at our WordPress dashboard and then we'll move down here to appearance and then themes. We'll upload our theme by clicking on add new, upload, we'll upload as a file. I'll choose the zip file, where is it? Here it is. Open and install. installing and, and 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 we like to edit now theme activated successfully sample data has been populated on your site wish to delete sample data question mark I'll show you what is the sample data we'll visit our site for the very first time and you can see here uh, Though there are no images in the slider, uh, still it is coming up over here and you are viewing this advertisements. These are the sample data just to show you how exactly the advertisements will be shown on your website. Okay, it's just to give you a rough idea of how the website will look with the advertisements posted on it. So we'll keep the sample data on our site and then if you wish to delete it, you can click on yes, delete please. And then when you will refresh your site, you will find that everything is gone you can see there is no data over here it's just empty so in this way you can delete the sample data for now for time being I'll insert the sample data and let it remain on my website and then we'll move to the theme option panel now as soon as you have activated your uh, classic craft theme you will find these two options over here one is classified and the other one is settings now under settings when you will come you will find this theme option panel click on it and here is the classic craft theme option panel you can see so first is the custom logo which comes under the general setting we'll upload a logo for our website and then there is this custom favicon we'll upload a favicon and then you have got this tracking code section wherein you can paste the Google Analytics code or any other tracking code to view the statistics of your website. We'll also change the background, the option to upload a background image and change it. And then you have got this post new ad button. I'll show you. This is the post new ad button over here which says post free ad. So if you wish to change the text written over it, you can edit that from here. For example, if I'm writing here post new ad instead of post free ad and then we'll save the changes and we'll refresh our site and you can see in themes this is my logo you can see the background is changed and also the text on this button is changed it's written post new ad so that is the general setting you can do then you have got this ad setting free ad you can see there are two options over here one is pending and the other one is published now free ad is like a user is coming in and he want to post a free advertisement on your website. So what exactly do you want uh, as soon as he posts the advertisement? If you want it to get published, you can choose publish so that the user will come post advertisement and it will be published. If you are keeping it as pending, it will come up to you for approval. All right, so it's you who is moderating the contents of your website and it's you who deciding that what sort of advertisements or what advertisements are to be published on your website. So that is free ad. Then there is this premium ad. Premium ad are the ones that are paid. So if you want to keep the premium ad pending as soon as they post it, then you can keep it as pending or else you can keep it as publish. All right. Then you have got this currency symbol. You can see uh, over here right now it is dollars. So if you want to change the currency symbol, you can put any other currency over here. Then you have got this lead capture form on or off. Now what is this lead capture form? We'll come here and click on any of these advertisements. And then on the right side, you will find this option. This is the lead capture form wherein the customers can directly contact with the service provider. So if you want to keep this form off, 
means if you don't want to show this form on your website then you can choose off and it will just you know disappear from there and if you want to show it then you can keep it as on so that is the lead capture on or off then you have got this enable capture on registration page now this is the registration page you can see right now uh, the capture is not activated if you need if you want uh, to show the capture button over here you can choose on and then they will show the capture there and then you have got this enable terms and conditions block on registration page if you want to keep it as on you can put it as on and then over here you can provide the terms and conditions url means um, it is a url where the person will be navigated on clicking the terms and conditions all right so we'll save all the changes and then uh, we'll visit our site we'll come here and we'll refresh and then we'll go to the login here and then when you'll come down you will find this captcha option over here and then here is the i agree to terms and conditions option all right so that is what you can bring into your website with this ad setting now you have got this styling options wherein you have got many colors which include purple green dark green orange red or yellow you can choose any of these colors and change the style of your website change the color of your website for example we need to choose green okay and then we will save all the changes my options are updated i'll come here and refresh my site you can see uh, the navigation menu its color is changed to green and also the footer section color is also changed to green so this is the theme color uh, you can choose any of the theme colors whichever you feel like is apt now you've got this theme right to left style all right so if you want to show your contents from left to right you can choose uh, left to right or then or else you can choose right to left so right now it is left to right if you want to put it as right to left you can choose rtl and the contents will be shown from right to left you click on rtl and we'll save all the changes just to see how exactly it works come here and refresh now you can see uh, the content before it was from here now it's changed to the right side so this is rtl and by default it is ltr then you have got this custom css option wherein you can add some custom css if you are familiar with it and you can change the style of your website we'll save all the changes and then comes the social icons uh, here you can link your social networking accounts and put the url here to show on your website so let's add our url over here i'll choose my fb put it here my twitter mm, where is twitter okay and then i'll choose my rss put it up over here and also my youtube channel So I'll choose my Google Plus, put it up here, and then we'll save all the changes. Now when I'll refresh my website, you will find, these are my social icons over here, you can see, uh, Facebook, Twitter, RSS feed, YouTube, and Google Plus. So in this way, you can showcase your social logos down here at your footer section. Then you have got this footer settings footer text you can write up any of the text over here like this is my site and then i'll save all the changes just to show you we'll refresh it and then you'll come down you can see instead of that copyright before it was written uh, default copyright or something and then uh, now it's written this is my site so here you can mention anything like your copyright or something <laughs> And then comes this SEO option. As you know, meta keywords, uh, you have to provide with the keywords that are related to the contents of your website. It helps with the ranking and all. Then you have got this meta description. Again, the description to provide search engines with additional information about what exactly is your website. And then you have got this meta other name. So you can edit this SEO options. You can provide with the keywords and description to help your website get a good rank. So that is the theme option panel. We have gone through all these settings, general, ad, styling, social, and footer. And uh, this is how it exactly looks. 
you can see we changed the logo uh, we changed this text we changed the background uh, we added up the social icons over here and we also changed the theme color it's changed to green so these are the small small changes that you can bring into your website with this theme option panel so this is how you can install the classic craft theme and use the theme option panel to uh, bring in the changes thanks so much for watching and i hope you will like this theme